Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson. I do read seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today is the evening of Thursday, December 2nd, 2021. Reading Daniel, the 8th chapter, the 8th to the 27th verses, and the 9th chapter through. Um, I did not read yesterday, and today I had to get up. I said, Lord, I got to get up and do my read. So I'm here, I'm here by faith, moving in the strength of the Lord, feeling much better, but still got a little ways to go with this bronchitis. So just keep me in your prayers. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, Therefore, the he goat waxed very great, and when he was strong, the great horn was broken, and for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceeding great toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land. And it waxed great even to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground, and stamped upon them. Yea, he magnified himself even to the prince of the host, and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away, and the place of his sanctuary was cast down. And a host was given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression, and it cast down the truth to the ground, and it practiced and prospered. Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that, and to their that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of the desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and ten hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. And it came to pass when I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and sought for the meaning then behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Uliah, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for the time of the end shall be the vision. Now as he was speaking with me, I was in a deep sleep on my face, toward the ground. But he touched me and set me upright. And he said, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation, for at the time appointed, the end shall be. The ram which thou sawest, having two horns, are the kings of Media and Persia. And the rough goat is the king of Grecia. And the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. Now that being broken, whereas four stood up for it, for a kingdom shall stand up out of the nation, but not in his power. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce continents and understanding dark sentences shall stand up, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall, <clears throat> he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And the vision of the evening and the morning which was t told is true. Wherefore shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick certain days afterward. I rose up and did the king's business, and I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. Chapter 9. So in the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the seed of Medes, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. And I set my face upon the Lord God 
to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled, even by departing from thy precepts and thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servant the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day to men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all of Israel that are near, and that are far off through all the countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. O Lord, to us belongeth the confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against thee. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God, to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. And as it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil is come unto us, yet yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand the truth. Therefore hath the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us, For the Lord our God is righteous to all his works which he doeth, for we obeyeth not his voice. And now, O Lord our God, thou hast brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and hast gotten thee renowned, as at this day we have sinned, we have done wickedly. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God because as the back in Daniel as Daniel was saying back then I'll say today we have sinned the country's in a terrible situation because we have sinned God is upset and there we have it but God is a good God I want to continue to say thank you thank you thank you for all of those who uh, support the ministry the Smurf Club for your 20 Dollar donation to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. Dollar sign Mama Pam 23. If these reads bless you, then it's okay to bless me back. It's okay to break off a little change and send it to a sister. We do broadcast live across all these social media platforms Monday through Friday noon and 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Of course, we are off this week. As you can see, I'm doing good. Be reading this right now. Dealing with a little bronchitis, but God is my healer. We are Smurf International Ministries, Seven Men to Read Family, Seven Men to Read Follow, Just Seven Men to Read Faithful Folk. I am Minister Mama Pam. I love you. Jesus loves you. Stay inside until this thing be passed. Isaiah 26, 20, and 21. God bless.